have out here uh, this morning is we've got uh, several deceased individuals inside of a house. Uh, it, it appears that there's there's four residents in this house that we know of. Uh, this morning, one of the residents, uh, a male that had uh, that had stayed outside the house last night, is, is the information we have. He came home this morning to find the other three residents deceased. Uh, it appears that, that all three are deceased uh, due to gunshot wounds to the upper parts of their body. Uh, the three decedents are uh, female. Two of them are, are, are pretty young, uh, believed to be in their teens. And then the, uh, the third is a woman believed to be in her 30s. Beyond that, uh, we couldn't speculate as to cause of death at this point. Uh, it would, it's just too early to tell. Is this uh, considered a uh, murder, murder, suicide? We, we, well, we do believe at this point that at least at least two of them appear to be murders. Of course, the, the medical examiner will make that, that final determination. Uh, it's just too early to tell on the third uh, person if, if that is a, a murder or a suicide. We'll let we'll let the medical examiner uh, take a look at it. What I can tell you is that uh, the BCSO uh, CSI unit is here. We have our mobile crime lab out on scene and we're being meticulous about how this scene is processed for certain. Uh, certainly homicide is, is also speaking to the male occupant of the residence, and we're hoping that, that as this investigation unfolds, it'll be able to shed more light on not only what was going on before last night, uh, but also what may have happened this morning. Now the two that you know were murdered for sure, were these the two teenage girls? It, it's, two, it's two young people, uh, yes sir, two young females uh, believed to be in their teens. Uh, we believe at, at this point preliminarily it appears that they are the victims of foul play uh, But of course we couldn't rule anything out at this point. Okay, and so the older woman is the one you're unclear about right now Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. and how many other people live at the home? There's one one it's other a total gentleman? of four occupants four. that we know of uh, that, that live in the home uh, Three of them are, are now deceased uh, And so the word is as the morning as the investigation progresses, we'll have more information. Can you tell us anything about the relationship between all of these people involved? So, we, yes, sir. We believe there is a, f a family relationship amongst the three, the the, the three decedents. Uh, but beyond that, I wouldn't be able to, to comment too much. Well, it, again, it, it's way too early to, to tell uh, who who's a suspect and who's a witness. Uh, what we believe, the information we have right now, is that that male did not stay in this house uh, last night. He stayed elsewhere and returned this morning to find uh, the three decedents. And what's his relationship to the, the three? It's it's some sort of a dating relationship to one of the victims. To the older victim or one of the younger Yes, ones? or the older victim.